The most important distinction on the search engine results page is between the paid content and the organic content. For the organic content, Google generates a list of results based on its perception of the relevance of those results to the user's query. The paid results are also intended to be relevant to the user's query, with the advertiser paying for better placements. If we look at a Google search results page for the query iPhone case, we'll notice that ads appear on the right hand side. These are Google Shopping ads. These ads are generated by a feed which the merchant will upload into Google Merchant Center and is then used to create these ads in Google Ads. And on the left here, we have these are search ads which are triggered by keywords which the advertiser specifies in Google Ads. Towards the bottom here, we have the organic search results which take a number of forms. Across the top, Google has divided search results into a number of different tabs. So all is a summary of many different types of search results. Shopping will give the user more shopping results. At the top are shopping ads, which are charged on a pay-per-click basis. Underneath are the so-called free shopping ads, which are generated from the feed which is uploaded into Google Merchant Center. On the image tab, we have image results related to the search query. At the top, there are shopping ads. Underneath that, there are the free Google Shopping results. That's signified by this little tag. More ads. And then further down are the image results. You see these are image results related to the iPhone case search. If we search for something a little bit more visual, see this is a search which is, has no product search results in it. It is just images based on the search for Big Ben. News shows news results related to the search query, also video results, and more will show things like maps, books, flights, and finance. Going back to the All tab, the ads can appear at the left, at the, on the right, and sometimes at the bottom of the search results. You can tell they're ads because they say ad at the top left. You'll notice that on desktop, ads take up almost all of the, the page which the user initially sees. This is known as the content above the fold, the fold being notionally the bottom of the page. Organic search results can be divided into two types. Traditional search results, for example, at the top here, the search results for David Cameron, which gives a link to the website and some content, and the SERPs features. These are anything which aren't the traditional results. The example on this page is this so-called knowledge graph here on the right, which tries to give a fuller answer to the question the user has been asking. Looking at the traditional search results, they normally come in this format here. There is a title, a snippet, which is a brief summary of the site, potentially some site links, and also some related searches. If we look at the search results for my website, Hello Baby Direct, we can see that it has this title here. The title is taken from the title tag for the page. If we go to the website and we view the code, the title is a piece of code which gives Google information about the content of the site. It's what you see here in the tab on the search results, and it strongly influences the title. The snippet is taken from another piece of code which is called the meta description, and you can see it here. Google will normally take this, but it may also use other information from the page. And here is a selection of site links which Google thinks are most relevant to the search query. SERP features are any result on the Google search results page which are not a traditional organic result. The most common SERP features are rich snippets, for example, review stars on product ratings. An example of a SERP would be these stars underneath the search results for Sophie the Giraffe. Another example of rich snippets are these extra item attributes underneath the Amazon result. So for example, color, item dimensions. You also have ratings here. So how do you get rich snippets in your search results? The way to do this is by, by implementing structured data on your website, which is then picked up by Google. We'll be going through this in a different video. The second type of features are paid results. These are the adverts, the, the, uh, the Google ads, the shopping ads that we've already discussed. Universal results are results that appear in addition to the organic results. So looking at a search result for David Cameron, we can see the traditional search results at the top here. Then we've got some universal results. We've got a news panel here which has links to news. Further down the page there's image results. On the right hand side here we have the fourth type of SERPs feature which is the knowledge panel. This aims to give a succinct answer to the searcher's query. So it's got a box here all about David Cameron with um, information which is mostly taken here from um, Wikipedia and also books, links to his profile and, and things that other people search for. If we look at another search for David Baddiel here, I've done a search for David Baddiel Twitter and this is showing Twitter results for David Baddiel. 
down here it's showing images related to David Baddiel. So as you can see, Google displays information from a number of formats on its search results and you need to structure your site in a way that optimizes how your site appears in the search results. Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website, which is vendlab.com blog.